Hey guys, this is Mr. V and this is episode number six of the Apes Review Videos, unit number three. Um, and this one's gonna be about age structure diagrams. So when you see age structure diagrams, the other name that you're gonna hear about is gonna be population pyramids. So um, what these are basically are they are um, the distribution of the ages and the sexes in a population. And the shape of the pyramid is gonna tell us quite a bit. Right now, basically, the thing to remember here is that a population pyramid is a graph. So it's going to have an x axis and a y axis, but it's going to be a little weird because the x axis is going to have the number of individuals on each side um, being male or female. Um, and it's going to be the center of the diagram for the y axis there. And that's going to show your age groups in different um, age ranges. So the typical names that you're going to see are pre reproductive, reproductive, and post reproductive. So pre-reproductive are going to be those individual humans that are um, between 0 and 14. You know, that's not to say that you can't have a baby at the age of 13 or 14. That just tends to be the ages where um, having a baby is not a uh, priority or something that happens often, right? Then you have reproductive ages. Those are going to be those ages between 15 and 45. And then you have post-reproductive, which is usually about 45 um, and beyond, right? Um, now... The thing to remember here is when we're talking about these three groups, we're not so much talking about males, we're talking about females, okay? Females are the important ones here because they are the ones that um, determine whether or not babies will be had, right? So that's what we mean when we're talking about those groups, really. And so here we have it, right? So you can see there's some commonalities here. So they're typically going to be color-coded and they're going to be in different groups. So you have the bottom groups are going to be like 0 to 7, 0, 8 to 14. And then you can see on here that the left side will tend to be females, the right side will be males. And the x-axis will tend to show either thousands, millions, or a percentage of the population. Those are pretty common there. And then again, here's our names for our groups, right? Pre-reproductive, reproductive, and post-reproductive. And then those middle groups, those are going to be the ones that they're having babies. That's the main ages where they have babies. And then when you get to 46 years old and uh, all the way till death, those are your post-reproductive uh, groups. So you can see that the parts of the population pyramid are pretty simple, but you need to make sure that you know it because when you look at these graphs, you don't want to be confused, okay? Because that will that's new for the most part. Okay, and so what do pyramid shapes tell us? Well, if you have a pyramid that has a bottom-heavy group, that population is going to be growing quickly because that group is going to eventually have babies for a longer period of time than if they have a middle or a top heavy section. Okay, middle heavy sections tend to be more stable, right? Like for the United States, they tend to be more of a middle heavy group. Um, but then you have top heavy groups or populations and those tend to be the kinds where they're going to end up um, having a um, uh, older population that tends to have some economic issues and things like that. So let's look at what that would look like. So if you see here on the left, right, those are our rapid growth uh, populations. So like the example would be the Democratic Republic of Congo, also Brazil and India, okay? Um, they have, and this graph, as you can see, is determined by uh, percentages. So it's showing you not so much negative and positive percentages, but from male and female groups, okay? And so you can see, um, you know, what percent of the population. So this population is huge because 20% of it is under the ages of zero to four. So they're gonna be having babies for a long time, okay? And they have lots of kids, uh, or lots of young people having babies from here on. So this means it's gonna be growing for a very long time, okay? And in the middle, you see the United States. You'll also see Canada as one of these. Um, that's more of a middle heavy group. So they do have some percentage, but not nearly as much. So as you can see here, their males and females having babies are, you know, in about the, three to almost four percent range so very small so their population will be stable for a while it won't get old yet and then here's a good trick to look at the united states if you just look at this part of the population right here you see how they have a more of a wider base pyramid there that is the baby boomer population so they are getting older and so for a while they were growing but now that pyramid is moving up and now these people are having less and less children so that's going to lead them to uh, be a more stable group. So, you know, that's a good kind of trick to remember here. So eventually this population on the left, the uh, rapid growth population, will get to be like that, but it's going to take some time. Okay. So think about these. These are people in the uh, baby boomer age in the U.S. These people were born 
um, you know, from the 19, late 1940s and early 1950s all the way um, through, I'd say, about the, you know, almost uh, 70s. So that's a very large population that is getting older. And then over here you have Germany um, and uh, Japan and Italy would be a good example, uh, good examples of populations that are now getting top heavy. So their populations are way bigger up here. Um, and so that's going to lead to a much smaller population down there. And that's going to lead to other economic issues. Think about the fact that you know, young people tend to pay more taxes and that pays for the social services. That pays for medicine in some countries. That pays for transportation, sewer management, cleanup, things like that. If that's not available um, because there's not that many people paying taxes, then that's going to lead to economic issues later. So, well, here's some uh, resources to help you do some more background research. So hopefully uh, that was helpful and thank you very much.